Hi everyone, so we're doing something really exciting today. We're getting on a ferry, aren't we, Babs? Yes, we are. So we're getting the ferry over to Vancouver Island. Here's the beautiful view as you can see. So you pick your lane and we pick the Victoria Lane. Well, that was painless and actually, lane 32 we need to go. Oh, that way, yeah. Actually, when we got there, she said, would you like to try and get on the one o'clock ferry because it's only 70% full. So we said, all right. We're going, up, we're going a bit earlier, so we've got to wolf our lunch down, I think, if I'm going to make it, unless we have something on the ferry, bab. But I think I'll make some lunch. Stay on our diets and save some money. <laughs> that must be the queue for the two o'clock. Yeah, I think it must be. So they've let us come on the one o'clock. And this is the queue. There's loads of people on it. I don't really know how big... The oh, there's the ferry in the background. <laughs> like trying to solve it i was like how much of that is your business gary it was like none of it i was like yeah leave it Sorry, hanging yeah. over the edge you're getting all like worked up about the flag being rambled up aren't you <laughs> and we're here we're just coming off the ferry what a brilliant crossing, wasn't it, Bab? It's great, really smooth, and the scenery was spectacular. Uh, we're still at the ferry terminal. There's the guys waiting to go over. And we just realised if we hadn't been put on this one, we think our other one was delayed till quarter past three. So it was a stroke of luck we got on this, isn't it, Bab? Yeah, rather an hour and a half delay. And uh, we've got a we've got a campsite booked for tonight. Um, we're not going far. It's about 14 kilometres. Of... Traffic queue already. Look at the little yellow cabs. Like little American ones, aren't they? So we're at our campsite. We've got a really nice one, haven't we, Gary? Yeah. Oceanside. Here's the sort of campsite map, so it looks pretty busy. However, it looks really nicely kept. We're in pitch 702, which is which is actually your lucky number, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, they've got all their stuff here like that. So there's lots of people that are here permanent, or maybe they're what you call snowbirds. And uh, these are all the really popular, like these fifth wheel things. They hook into a truck over here. Uh, this is our pitch. It's not too bad, actually. It's got a little bit of privacy here. And uh, yeah, reverse in, babe. And it looks like there's a really nice walk up there. Come down to the beach, which is just a walk from the campsite. And this is what it looks like. There's no one here. It's amazing, isn't it? Gary's just nipped back to go and get some chairs. So the verdict on last night's campsite, it was all right, wasn't it? Yeah, it was all right. But I'll tell you what was annoying. Come oh, come seven o'clock, I've been waiting all day for my dinner because we've been on a diet. And so we were really like excited about eating. As soon as seven o'clock came, I had this beautiful sort of salad and pasta and mince. It was gorgeous, wasn't it? It was. Ready to go. And the bloke next door starts blow drying his dog. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I didn't... Well, I didn't even know you did that with a dog. And oh, we thought it was hoovering, didn't we? We did, and it was a big dog. It was a massive dog. Well, it sounded like he was hoovering the whole of Allied Carpets, um, didn't it? It did. But it was the entire time we were eating our meal, every mouthful, I was I was moaning like mad, wasn't I? <laughs> yeah. I was like, I've been waiting for this all day. I said, honestly, people, think about it. If it's seven o'clock at night, people are eating. Don't start blow drying your dog or blow dry it somewhere else. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We're at Pacific Palms RV Resort, <laughs> and it's right in the town centre at Parksville. Honestly, look at the view behind us. We're we're right on the beach. It was really quite good value, wasn't it, as well, babes? It was. It was uh, just shy of 200 Canadian dollars, which is about uh, 57 pounds, which is great. It's, it's amazing, especially as we've got like full hook up and everything. So we're really chuffed with that. But one of the things that I really like about here, it's got a really brilliant laundry and it's really cheap. I'll just quickly show you it. And then we're off to the sand sculpture um event aren't we yeah look at this laundry i'm not being funny but this is a real joy when you come to an rv park it's two canadian dollars for a wash load that's just over a pound actually and they're brand new machines i did a load of washing yesterday and it's fantastic to have it all clean uh, three dryers three washers brand new really nice little setup this is how close we are 
to the beach. Here's the gate that you come out of, and there is the beach and the um, boardwalk. It's a gorgeous beach on here, isn't it, in Parksville? It's beautiful. And they, um, they have a lovely boardwalk as well. And one of the things we did find is last night they had um, a film playing, I think it was Mario or something, wasn't it, outside yeah. in the park. So anyone could go for free and watch it. Um, I just think that's just a really lovely community spirit. It's got a lovely vibe here. Um, so far, we're loving it, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we are. There's a bit of a cloudy... Uh, cloudy sky so I'm kind of wondering if it rains it's going to be a nightmare on the sand sculptures so we want to get there and see them before it does. So it's quite overwhelming when you come in because they're so enormous and amazing aren't they Gary? Yeah. So Wonders of the World is actually the theme for this year and this behind me is the doubles winner and we'll go and find out the single entries winner and there's also an opportunity to put a token in for the people's choice. This is gorgeous, isn't it, Gary? This is the doubles winner, isn't it? Yeah, this won first prize in the doubles, which uh, was done by Fred Dobbs and Ted Siebert from the USA and Canada. Wow. It's gorgeous. It's sort of uh, an Alice in Wonderland one. Reminds me of my friend Pippa, who absolutely loves Alice in Wonderland. Like this one, Love Without Borders. How beautiful is that? It's a gorgeous sculpture. It came in second in the soloist division, but it did win the competitor's choice. So that's something to be really proud of. And it's by a guy called Thomas Co Coat, and uh, he's originally from the Netherlands, but he's come over from the States to do it. Look at the detail. Those fingernails down there. I mean, it's incredible. So my art guru here has just realized they're both taking a selfie. I hadn't realized, and I suppose it's really modern day, isn't it? You know, two beauties taking a selfie. Wow. It's almost like a homage to narcissism when she's got me on her necklace. This is the winner of the soloist division, and it's the Great Barrier Reef, based obviously on the Australian Great Barrier Reef. And I believe the artist sort of sculpted her own face into it. It's incredibly detailed, it's so beautiful. For all you pooch lovers out there, this one's by Dan Belcher from the USA and it's a gorgeous one of a dog as well. Oh, look at the paw. Okay, I'm not really sure what this breakfast is, but whatever she's eating, I don't even know if I want to know. I really like this one as well. This one's a seed, it's called. It's just beautiful. It's by a guy called Damon Langloy, and he's from Canada, this guy. Isn't it gorgeous? He's come fifth in the soloist division. They're all, it's really hard to choose because they're all lovely. So this one's quite an interesting one, wandering the face of the earth. What a clever idea. And you'll see there's like planes and there's an eye and in, in the iris of the eye there's somebody walking. It's great. People come from miles to compete. This one's by a guy called Francisco Calvillo from Mexico. Look at the gorgeous detail on this. Look at this one. This is an entry from Germany. But look at the detail on this book. Isn't that clever? A clever pun there, I wonder. Brilliant. I think this might well be my favourite so far. This is the king. This is definitely Gary's favourite. And this is a one of the doubles entry. It won third prize. And it's by a lady called Sue McGrew and Dmitry Klimenko from Russia. Sue's from the US and they started to sculpt in, in competitions together in 2019. Wow. I do really like this one though as well. That's amazing. This is by a guy called Peter um, from Canada as well. Apparently he enjoyed many summer days playing at the beach in Parksville and he's called this Age of Wonder. It's very beautiful, but look at the owl that she's holding. Extremely topical, it's called the clickbaits and you've got like, delete, chat. This is ex excellent, it's very modern. And uh, you've got your little laughy emoji. Gosh, this is very clever. And look at the detail on that hand where it's got the clickbait. It's got a mouse and everything. This is brilliant. Oh gosh, I don't know which one to choose as my people's choice. Rest in peace. This one's called Worlds Apart and it's by a guy called Bruce War from Canada. And uh, he started sort of sculpt, sculpt him when he went on holiday with his mother and father in Canada and while they were having cocktails by all accounts he kind of started to think about sand sculpting and look at this it's just amazing this one's called inner peace gosh so you can kind of make your own interpretation of what it means for you 
it's certainly the heart is in the center of inner peace that's for sure this one is really artistic because if you look at the child's eyes in this the detail looks like so innocent that's beautiful a world of wonder just the magic of innocence looking at a frog and oh i, I think this might be my favorite actually gary yeah. This one's the competitor's choice for the doubles and it's really beautiful um, and apparently one of the sculptors when she was young she hated sand between her toes and now look at her, she's creating this kind of beauty and it goes all the way around and there's a person lying on the floor here. The double ones are really quite large, they're enormous. Oh, it's beautiful. This is very clever, 300 year mortgage. Yeah, literally being tied to your mortgage. This is very clever. So does that help to keep it in place when you sprayed the water yeah, on it? Yeah, it's a mixture of water and glue together. Oh, it's a water and glue. Yeah. Oh, I see. And how long would this stay up, do you think, now? Well, we have to spray this like five times a day for, for the next two months, so it'll, it'll be up for a while. Really? And what happens if it rains? Because I was thinking they might just like... Nope, that's what the glue is for. It, 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 it will, it'll stay intact no matter what. This is a fortress at this point. <laughs> <laughs> we have heads next to the souvenir tent yeah. that are made of the exact same material so you can feel how hard it gets. Oh, brilliant. I'll go, go and have a look at that yeah. then. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. So you're allowed to have a little touch here to see how solid that they go, but they are like stone. Yeah, that, that's incredible. It's like a mask. You can actually... Pick it up. It's brilliant. Oh gosh, Gary's got to put it on his face, obviously. Oh, very nice, Gary. <laughs> Thank you. We're having a brilliant time at Parksville Sand Sculpture. So we've got a little token, and you can do the people's choice as well. Now I know which one Gary's going for. Are you going for the king one for definite? Ah, uh, for definite, the king one for me. Gary's going to vote for the king one on this. The dragon detail's incredible. Yep. So I think I'm going to go for this one because it's just so beautiful and it looks so innocent and childlike. And as I'm going to be a grandmother this year, it seems very appropriate to, to vote for the youngest here for the new life. So here we go. This is my vote for the people's choice. A walk along the boardwalk. And, uh, we've come along and there's all these beautiful sort of stones here, isn't there, Gary? Yeah. And what are you saying they are? So these these stone markers are actually called Inukshuks. Right. And they are um, traditionally a, an old Indian or Iqaluit, so Eskimo or, or First Nation marker along the tundra where there was there was no trees or anything like that. And they were just like, oh. they were like markers to, to say that you'd, you know, to guide your way. Now, traditional ones, you can see, they've got sort of two legs. Okay. They're the ones that I, I learnt about when I was in Canada. Uh, but the other ones are, are equally Inukshuks, but the traditional one, it has two legs. So we're going to make an Inukshuk. Um, Gary's just finding our stones for us. And, uh, and then if you're ever this way, you should come and find us. Um, although I don't know if you'll tell us apart from anything else. So we'll have to make it quite, quite different and quirky, Gary. <laughs> I'll help you find like some stones mountain. now. Where are you going to put them? I feel like I'm going to break my neck. Gary reckons we need a, a flat surface. Oh, are you going to put it with a, a bit of board? Well, I mean, board a flat surface. But that's going to fall off, surely, no? Necessarily. Oh, it looks quite sturdy, like a proper shelf, that. They're gorgeous, aren't they? These little speckled ones yeah. next to it. Oh, yeah, okay. I can see where you're going with this. They need to be slightly closer, I think, don't they? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, now that one looks a bit heavy, does it? No? No, it looks good. Um, I think we could find a little bit more decorative one. A little bit more Look, there's a love heart one there, Gary. What about that one? So it is. No, it's not really a love heart. Oh, not too big. Oh gosh, no. Mm. A broken heart. <laughs> There's a nice flat one inside of there. If you could just get yourself inside those rocks. No, no a bit further in, this speckled one. That's it. It's a lovely one, isn't it? Uh, it is. That would actually look better on it than that one. But I think those little speckled ones aren't big enough. That's better. Yeah. I, I quite like... Okay. 
It's a bit of a balancing game. I don't think these are going to last for many years. <laughs> That's nice. Maybe a little baby one. There's a little beige one right by your foot there. That looks like it. No, no, that black one. No, that black one. Yeah, it's quite lonely. Let's pop it on there. It's like a beret. It does look like a beret. <laughs> in fact, actually, ours looks like a soldier inadvertently. 